All right, so I'm checking out a test long. This is a digital endoscope camera, and it's got 360 degree rotation uh, from the toggle handle to look inside an engine or on the outside. So I'll show you what it looks like right out of the box. It might be better to show it to you like this. Uh, yeah, this is the actual monitor itself. There's your USB charger. Yep, goes in the bottom right here to charge it up. And here's your camera. This is your connection from the toggle handle. And you can see how it moves. Yeah, this is neat. So yeah, I'll uh, connect this up. So this is the connection from the monitor to the handle camera. It's got a little groove in it to let you know how you how to put it in um, so you don't crimp the pins inside. Yep, that connects it like so. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Yep, there we go. It's already got the light on for the camera. And it's showing you a picture of my paint chip ceiling currently, so it's definitely got a very good camera on it. Hmm. And the light is definitely pretty bright. So yeah, this is this is nice. So yeah, just showing you a quick demonstration. I'll take it out to my vehicle to uh, test it out. But also the it kind of gives you some instructions and some other pointers for the camera probe connector, the light control button, uh, all the different controls on the on the on the monitor itself. So, yeah, this is, this is impressive. I like this a lot. All right, a little bit more about this uh, borescope camera. Um, it's got the four-way joystick, which I showed you earlier. The toggle handle, so you can turn it in different directions there. Um, so you can bend it back up to 210 degrees, enabling you to see engine parts from a different from different directions without disassembling them. The endoscope uh, monitor has a 5 inch 720p screen on it, LCD screen. So it's basically a 1280 by 720. And so the image resolution is really sharp. It's uh, got a 3500 milliamp hour battery that's rechargeable and it also has a built-in flashlight so if you wanted to light something up just push the button on top to light it up and get a better view or you can turn it off if you don't need it. It also has a uh, built-in speaker and microphone. Um, it's rated at IP67 waterproof for use in inclement weather and wet environments. The snake camera probe has adjustable LED lights and it's water safe to use in pools for plumbing if you needed to look for a clog in a drain and it also includes a 32 gigabyte micro SD card uh, 
So that way it'll record uh, your data. If you need to do some investigating further on a repair, so yeah, this is really a uh, really neat uh, camera and scope. Yep, 32 S 32 gigabyte SD card is right here. And you just push it in to pop it out, and just put it back in whenever you want to remove remove the files, and just pop it back in. Click it back in place and you're ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to take a look under the hood of my Toyota Sienna minivan. Kind of moving the camera around with the toggle. And again, this is five feet, so it can go pretty far. Looking at the back side of my engine here, that's towards my wheel. That, I believe, is the steering column. Yep, that's the steering column. That's where the transmission is. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, you can get into hard to reach areas to kind of get an idea of what you're looking at if you got a leak somewhere or need to do a repair. You kind of need to look around to see what you gotta do to, before you get started. So, yeah, the light is really nice. It lights everything up so you can kind of see where you're going, what you need to do. That's the starter right there, which I just had replaced uh, about four, three, four months ago. So, yeah, this is a very nice setup. Some of the hoses, that looks like a uh, air conditioning line there. The vacuum line. So there you go. Just want to demonstrate the use of the camera trying to get a good shot of what it looks like because it's really bright out here and I got it under my hood so hoping I get a good shot of the screen here but yeah I hope that helps you out if you're looking for something similar because this is really a uh, very impressive endoscope uh, camera with a five foot extension to get to those hard to reach areas. So, all right.